The fourth edition of Sculpt X, the largest annual sculpture fair in South Africa, is underway in Johannesburg. With over 200 sculptures on show, the Sculpt X exhibition offers visitors a glimpse into the different artistic approaches being applied to sculptural works. CGTN's Yulise and Jamela has more. A number of artists participating in this year's Sculpt X, South Africa's largest annual sculpture fair, are pushing the boundaries of sculpture in interesting ways. The Melrose Gallery director Craig Mark asserts that the materials the sculptures are fashioned from vary as do the modes of expression. From figurative works to depicting the human body, the natural world or the built environment to abstract works. This exhibition serves as a platform to showcase sculptures by emerging, mid-career and well-established sculptors who all show together. With over 200 works by over 90 sculptors displayed in different venues, Mark finds it difficult to highlight specific works. There's so many special pieces. But we've got works by artists like Dr. Billy Besta, who's known as one of South Africa's foremost resistance artists. And that includes some very large, big pieces of his. Um, Nindia Bakhtar, who has created an installation within the Santon City space. And that is, involves clay pieces hanging from the ceiling in an installation, um, which has a beautiful kind of mood to it. Um, Chuma Maweni works in fired clay, oven fired clay, and with showing three beautiful vessels of his. Um, Andres Boerter, one of his life-size elephants in leather and wood and iron. So there's a wide range of materials of, um, from crystal to wood to bronze to um, recyclable materials. The exhibition also showcases unconventional works. So somebody like Louis Charnou has been exploring plant carbon resin, which looks like glass, and it, um, he's been celebrating the human form. So he's created these life-size sculptures out of what looks like glass, but you can place them indoor and outdoor. And they have this very unique way of interacting with their environment, because when you look at them, you see um, the background, the garden, the sea, or, or the property within which you place the work. It's a fascinating mixture showcasing carving, casting, welding, and assembly of varying shapes of this visual art form. So it's just a, a very interesting wide range, and that's one of the great things about Sculptex is we don't apply a very strict um, kind of curatorial um, strategy so we keep it pretty wide because we want a lot of artists to get the opportunity to show. Even global art lovers will have full access to this fair. So this year we have uploaded everything, um, all images, information on every single one of the participating artists onto our website, created a section called Sculptex um, with a tag on the banner um, of our website which people can then click on and actually read up on the artist. The exhibition runs until the 24th of October. Yuli Sanjamela for CGTN in Johannesburg, South Africa.